Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? I hope you're safe and healthy. Okay, I just wanna do a quick upload on uh, basically giving a shout out to walking. Um, I, just quick background, had knee injury, also um, a lot of fatigue post any cardio workout, hated cardio. Um, walking was more of like a thing that you could do as like a leisure stroll once in a while, not a serious thing to do every day. So um, I just wanted to say that um, for a person who wants to incorporate some sort of cardio, I'm a big advocate now for walking. It's so underrated. And I'm not even speaking about like power walking. I'm talking about, you know, um, soft walking as well. So why walking is effective, and I had to do some research on this, is um, cortisol rises every time a body is stressed. So when you're doing cardio, and especially, you know, hard cardio, depending on your body, it's unique to everybody. So this is, I'm just saying for me, it increases the, and the cortisol. So that in itself uh, was backfiring whenever I used to do heavy workouts. So that is another you know, topic within itself, maybe I'll, I'll touch on later. Um, so the soft walking, um, far more effective, um, doing a 10,000, trying to reach 10,000 steps a day, but I'm not like, uh, vigilant on it, 5,000 is to 6,000 is my minimum. And if I do more, wonderful. Um, weightlifting, big part of that as well to you know balance both of those things because visceral fat is what you want to get rid of with the walking and any kind of cardio. But I'm just going back to the, to go, I'm going to go back to and be sorry, excuse me, the walking part. Uh, the reason it's also very effective is not only is it helpful in not doing the same kind of spike in the cortisol, um, the longer duration is effective as well when it comes to stress reduction. So because I'm not putting stress on my body of this kind of like aggressive workout, it's been wonderful for um, stress reduction and cognition. So I just wanted to um, share that and anyone who's sitting there going like, you know, I need to do something. Really, it's as basic as walking and it doesn't have to be one time, one, you know, at, at one session, you can have like 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the afternoon, 10 minutes in the evening, and it's all good. And studies have also backed that up. So I just wanted to say that um, I'm feeling, you know, um, good about it. And now I'm going to go with 10 or 11 p.m. Now I should get going. I'm going to get my at least minimum 5,000 in. And um, anyone who wants to, like, if you're thinking it's a good idea that we can like start a group, uh, like a PCOS walking group, let me know, let's do something with this. That would be great just for accountability and also to to like reach out to those um, uh, for all of us in this kind of isolation reality with COVID. So yeah, anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Hope all is well. Um, I'll be in touch. Take care, stay safe.